Hello and welcome back to Attigan Park. We are just feeding the cows and you'll see that as well we've got a little contract going for ploughing on field 44 and when I say little I mean really little but a little uh, lintner and a uh, never such a tiny little pottinger, pottinger plough so that's working away in the background bringing in probably about 300 quid for us but hey every little helps so oh, I've got a climbing cow um, now I had previously said and let me just show you what I'm on about that I wanted to get the uh, hay down the roughage down only problem with that is and I didn't know this call me a noob that um, yeah obviously because they're not being fed on all four um, food groups their health obviously plummets and so does their value so yeah rookie error won't be doing that again it'll just have to equal itself out over time so we need to make a mix well probably several mixes to be fair hopefully the cows are going to stay there so we will get that done and uh, hopefully then we can move on into the new year there's not a great deal to do um, we'll have to keep on checking on the cows and making sure they are fed but uh, yes so I'll do the first mix and uh, yeah see how full that gets the trough and we'll go from there well the contract on field 44 is finished I know it wouldn't take long at all so this is the first mix and let's just check how that's looking yeah very good indeed we've got you can see we've got 30 30 000 liters of slurry and i think we've got maybe the just about the same of manure so all good there the only thing we're really lacking at the moment is straw so as, the, as the cow jumps into the feeder um so we may need to purchase some um, we're all right for the minute but we'll keep an eye on that one thing i do want to do is get this keenan repaired um because yeah it's absolutely battered and uh yeah it's not good practice is it really to be running machinery but is that in such a poor condition so once that's emptied we'll go and get that repaired lovely so okay back up again into the green marvelous so let's get this repaired sorry cows and then uh, we'll do another mix and uh, top up the trough so just starting the next mix so i know now that it's one bale of hay and one and a bit bales of silage so if we can navigate in here without destroying the other stack there we go in fact let's think about this and get two out there we go super all right let's navigate our way around these pillars there we go imagine that the uh, keenan has got a, uh, in fact, I'm doing this the wrong way. I'll get rid of one for a minute. And just put one for one in, and then we can top the other up as we need. That's going to pick both up. Oh, lovely. Thank you, Bale. So, yeah, we're going to leave the wrapper on this one. It's The Keener's got a new fancy system that just uh, munches up the uh, the wrapper and spits it out magically there we go right that can chew that up and i'm getting cramped in my hand we need a crate of pallet of mineral feed there we go let's get that over here 
turn off super strength top up that and we can reverse in and get some molasses and then we'll top off with silage there we go refill that we'll just pop the F1 menu on a second so we can see how the mix is looking pretty good so far okay let's pull back out again and uh, top up with silage we're just topping up with silage now and if we just pull forward slightly you'll see the numbers starting to equal out which is what we want there we go move that up out the way leave it on the forks for now I don't think we're going to use all this mix so in fact we'll just drop it just there there we go pop out of this one and uh, go and top the trough up so while we've uh, got the gate open and got the little vent down here I've grabbed a straw bale so we'll get the bedding of the cows topped up as well it's not too bad at the minute to be fair so this should take us to around just under 40,000 litres of straw I reckon which is good there's only three bales left though so like I said may need to get some more but we will call that nearer the time great lovely okay so let's get this out of the way and uh, yeah we'll advance a bit of time what I might do before we do anything is uh, check the used vehicle sales oh I made a right hash of this don't seem to have any feedback on my steering wheel today which is rather annoying because it just gets to a point and then gives but yeah first wheel problems um right let's engine off and have a quick look in the sails right so we've got the <laughs> we don't need that uh, no no maybe in the future Ooh, that seems like a rather decent deal will that do yeah fertilizer and herbicide that could be good bale wrapper ah. don't need that we've already got one that would be beautiful but no uh, again that's there I wonder whether the sprayer is going to be a good idea for us because then we could at least weed and also we could fertilize and it would does it have narrow tires yes it does working with can we go see probably plump for um, We'll go, yeah, I think we're going to go for that, you know. So I'm just going to check where the uh, store deliveries is set to, and we will come back and buy this. Well, there we go. 27 grand lighter, and we've got ourselves a sprayer. So that's, um, yeah, that's pretty cool. Wasn't expecting that. Now I've got the bilg, and... I'm wondering about the bale wrapper because that does seem like a mighty good deal. 65% off. Yeah, come on, let's do it. Let's do it. We will we don't need a plate. And I think we'll go for, for black bales, I think. Yes. Cool. So, yeah, there we have it. Two new additions to the farm. Hopefully going to do us good in the future. So we'll get those put away. And, uh, yeah, we'll crack on advancing time. So into December 2. And uh, you'll see we're set at times 30 at the minute. Just, uh, yeah, passing through these winter months. Nothing to do uh, in our fields. They are all good. So let's just have a quick look at that. I have been in and out of the game just to uh, sort out the steering wheel. So yeah, we're all fertilised up 
and obviously we haven't planted in 45 just yet so that's fine if we take a look at our cows you'll see health is back up to 100 percent and the value is up as well so that's good we've got 32,000 litres of manure and we've got 41 nearly 42,000 litres of slurry so when spring comes and we've cut our grass we are going to have plenty of uh, free fur I think I said that in the last episode we may look at uh, either purchasing or leasing or uh, buying one like I say and then leasing the other for a slurry tanker or a manure spreader let's just have a look it would be interesting if there was anything that we could make use of beat car no oh now does that work on its own no we're gonna have to buy the back for it but that might be helpful 31k mm. haven't got a great deal though have we i think we'll probably look at leasing for now snow's falling cows need a top-up mix so i'm gonna do that and I'll probably see you in the new year. Well, we're into the third day of January. And uh, we're just bedding up the cows. This is the last of the straw. It's lasted reasonably well, to be fair. We have been feeding the cows. Had to buy more molasses and mineral feed. There we go. That's empty. Jobs are good, isn't and uh, so yeah so that's why the money is looking a little bit low we've uh, done about three maybe four mixes I think probably actually more than that um, but yeah trying to keep them all topped up so we're at their uh, maximum value so we'll get the straw blower put away and then um, I think we're going to lease a slurry spreader and we're going to go and put a layer of slurry onto um, our field that will be corn so huh, making a hash of this so I'll get this put away and uh, I'll see you when we've got the spreader right well we're in field 45 we've got this farm tech slurry spreader costs about 1500 quid I think to lease so uh, yeah, filled up with slurry and uh, we're going to give it a go and see how we get on. It's got a reasonable working width actually. Not sure how many loads we're going to need, but uh, we've got a fair bit of slurry and I wanted to uh, make sure it didn't fill up completely. So hence why we're getting this on and not the manure. The uh, We'll use the manure at some stage, but for now, let's uh, get the slurry tank uh, emptied out from the cow barn and uh, yeah, get this field 100% fertilised. We'll come back and do the edges. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll uh, see how far we get and we'll catch back in a minute. Well, the best laid plans. Um, the weather is atrocious. It's dull it's miserable we got uh, i'll show you how far we got around the field that far <laughs> so we did about what half a headland um we can't be working in this weather so yeah we're going to uh, advance the time even more i do apologize it wasn't the intention but uh, hey the weather is against us at the minute you'll uh, notice as well i've leased the garant uh, slurry container i guess you'd call it um just to try and speed up the process when we finally get to uh spread the slurry there's a fence even a, or a hedge even there so i'm going to head back to the farm and uh we are going to uh skip the time and uh, see you when the uh, weather and the light has improved well thankfully the weather has somewhat cleared up the uh, forecast we've got a bit of cloud 
and there's probably going to be more snow just because uh, it's that time of the year so we, we can least for a while get some work done the uh, once we've done this the cows are going to need feeding again um, so yeah it's going to be a daily part of the routine which just goes hand in hand with maize plus and the amount that they eat which is not a problem I've uh, said in on Carmston that it'd be better to have more interaction and have to do more uh, to look after the animals so Maze Plus definitely does give us that so yeah not complaining so hopefully we're going to get this headland done although I'm not holding out much hope and we can start some up and downs just starting the up and downs now and uh, it's going to be nice to get this field seeded and get rid of these weeds. Yes, we'll have to come through at some point and do a bit of herbiciding, but that isn't uh, too much of a problem. Or even, probably, if we catch it early enough, use our uh, our weeder. I've forgotten we got that. Um, but yeah, it's not going down too quickly. I didn't quite make it around the uh, headland previously but uh, it's not too much of a problem we've got about 30,000 litres left um, at the cow barn so we can use that as well should we need it I think I've only filled up probably twice out of the uh, container we've got parked over there you can just see it so yeah quite enjoy using the smaller kit actually um, it makes a change it's a lot more work but it makes a change so we're doing roughly two passes to every tanker load so not too um, it's not using too much should I say which is a good thing we should hopefully have enough um, between the field tanker and what's in storage back at the farm so yeah looked at the forecast and snow isn't due until midnight so that's good at least we'll get this done and uh, then it's just a case of turn off the GPS um, it's just a case of planting the corn in April and uh, yeah then this field apart from if we get any weeds should be ready to go so the slurry container is now empty we've got what 6,000 just over litres in our spreader I reckon we'll have enough hopefully do need to uh, tidy a few bits up on the edges but yeah I'm uh, trying to be optimistic but uh, yeah who knows it doesn't really matter it's just a trek down to the yard to uh, refill so we'll see how we get on we didn't quite have enough um, main reason for that probably is uh, user error We'd, uh, I didn't set GPS by the time I realised we were halfway down this uh, the pass and uh, yeah wasted a load of slurry but never mind the uh, we've refilled the field tanker has gone back so that's uh, one less expense and uh, yeah we should now have enough to finish this little corner of the field and touch up any misfits just finished emptying the slurry tank on the last few little bits on the field let's just take a quick look how we did yeah not bad at all happy with that so we can probably return this now don't think we've got a need for it um, at the minute so we can get rid of the tanker we need to feed the cows then I think it's just a case of uh, moving into March. Well, 
it's the first day of March and uh, we've picked up a little fertilizing contract in field number six so uh, using our own kit had to buy a bit of fertilizer but um, got to speculate to accumulate so we are going to whiz around and uh, get this done there's uh, a fair bit of uh, feeding being done of the cows and uh, I'm wondering uh, if we should start a book on this let's play of how many times I said or say we need to feed the cows or I've fed the cows or that that's the cows all fed um, yeah it's uh, it is it's a lot more involved I mean, like that it's um, yeah very uh, pleased that it uh, is that way now um, even before with on Carmston with you know through over 300 cows we weren't uh, having to do that much with them so yeah jobs are good in there so let's just put cruise control on a second and check how we're getting on yeah it's not going to take us long at all and it will bring in 4,397 so not too bad cover the fertilizer costs and a little bit more but uh yeah the um we've got one tank of molasses left and one pallet of mineral feed so at some point we're going to have to stock up on that again um we need to at some point try and get a little bit more uh, self-sufficient i guess you'd call it so uh, we can yeah find a way to uh, either make our own uh, mixes or elements of the mix and then we can uh, yeah stop having to buy stuff and use alternative uh, ingredients so I'm gonna whiz up and down here a few more times and uh, get this contract finished final bit of the field and that is the contract complete well it was the contract complete a couple of minutes ago but uh, we finished the field off for the farmer because we are considerate contractors most of the time so that's that done now I do like this little area here very uh, secluded Let's jump out of here and we will shut the gate. Oh, there we go. We're a bit too far. Where's the latch? No, not this side. Come on. There we go. Fantastic. And we've got a torch on as well. Just what we wanted. So, let's just take a look. We are not weeding at the minute. So head back down to our farm so bill 45 is all fertilized ready for corn we've got field 39 that uh, is all sorted as well but we need weeding does it need weeding no okay interestingly the contract <laughs> that was for the weeding is only part of the field so that's uh, very strange um 36 is all good oh we weeded these didn't we of course silly me um so that's they're fine oh, how is our grass looking actually mm, ready to harvest i wonder whether we uh maybe do a very early cut hmm not sure i am going to have to have a think about that so let's um get out of here get some beacons on and head back down to the farm so i've uh, been thinking and we are running low on money and uh, we've got this fantastic truck that we hardly ever use so we can just find the trigger i managed to find it earlier there we go we will uh, so we're going to sell 
power truck. There we go. So that now has given us a bit more cash and a bit more of a bump stop um, to do the next thing that I want to do. So I'll see you in a second. So we're down at the livestock market and I mentioned previously that if we were struggling for money, which we are, then I would look at getting some uh, milk producing cows. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to get five Holsteins and we're going to get the oldest age. So they'll be uh, producing milk for us from the get go. So we'll buy those. Yep. Thank you very much. And we will get the trailer all folded up, stick some beacons on and we'll head back down to the farm and get these girls unloaded. So back down at the farm, we have got our five Holsteins. There we go. They're all in. So we'll get this folded up, just pull forward so we can jump out and get the gate shut. Come on. Why is it when you're trying to do something? There you go. So that's sorted. So we can park this up. In fact, first, let's just take a look now. So we've got 25 cows, which is good. We've got their health is going to build back up just because the food dropped. So we'll be having calves at some point and then we can sell hopefully at I think it was 36 months, I think is the best price. I'll have to check that. But uh, yeah, so we'll sell them, get the income, and then we'll fatten the calves up, etc. And then that cycle will repeat and we'll start to get a bit of uh, milk produced. We'll, we'll, we will need to get a tanker, but um, that is fine because I'm looking at also uh, starting the greenhouse off. Uh, making use of that getting some produce from that because that's cash in the bank as well so we'll get this back to buy this tree there we go nice and straight not there we go cool well I think uh that's as good as place as any to end it. We will uh, catch up next time and think about doing a first cut. The plan is for, while the weather's nice-ish, to feed the cows on grass and then through the autumn and winter months where they'll be in the barn, um, we'll have the, the TMR maybe, but uh, yeah, we'll... Uh, have a think about that and come to that next time so thank you very very much for watching i hope you've enjoyed the episode if you have leave a like subscribe to the channel and i will see you in the next one take care